Hello everyone, welcome to a quick summary of last week's stream. This is, I'm playing on Monday, so the stream will be starting again in a few hours. Uh, but, you know, better late than never. Right, let's have a fly around and see what we did last week. Not much to say, really. Um, I'll show you over here first, because this is a bit of a show and tell from the stream which somebody else did, which was mostly Tristan, I believe, with mics. I don't know. Tristan and Mike built this, probably. Uh, we have a massively over-engineered iron mine. Iron generator, I suppose you might say. Uh, <laughs> made of a ridiculous amount of iron, I can't help but notice. So if you wanted some iron, maybe just harvest all that. Um, it's a fake village. Several fake villages. So Minecraft has rules about what constitutes a village and various certain things so that it can decide whether things should spawn or not. Um, apparently this counts as four separate villages, I believe. And over time, uh, uh, I suppose you might need the the farm as well for it to be a village. You need doors, you need farm with water and wheat or something and some villages or something. Uh, oh, let me out. I'm stuck. I don't want to be here. Uh, eventually this will spawn an iron golem because of reasons which will spawn on presumably this ledge which is all lit up so that nothing else spawns on this ledge. Walk into the water, get flushed down here. There's a second one down here. Uh, please fly. You fool. There you go. Um, there's a second one down here, so it can happen twice, uh, with some weird barbed wire thingies. What are these? Just, just rods, okay. Don't know what they're for. I'm sure Tristan will tell us in the comments. Eventually it all gets pushed down here. Now this lava is magic because... If you can get out, please, let me out. Yeah, but let me out. Yeah, but out. Help. <laughs> I'm so confused. Maybe you have to, uh... Well, I guess I'll be going in the lava then. Um, to, just be, delete. Let me out. Back in the tick. There, I fixed it. Uh, the lava is special, and I'll try and fly around it and show you. Because it's actually hovering. I could probably just land on the tree and show you. It's actually hovering above the surface, held up by signs of all things, because, you know, wood, wood doesn't burn or anything. Which means that the golem will be in the lava in order to die, but the thing it drops will spawn below the lava and not get destroyed, which is of course picked up by these hoppers, which will then go into Hnya and then be pulled out into Hnya. And oh look, loot bags and stuff. That's interesting. It must be dropping other things besides iron, which is uh, good and also bad. I've noticed that. I'm not sure what these are for. <laughs> Decoration? Maybe it forces it to be a village a bit better? I don't know. This is the uh, mob spawner that we've seen before. And the only other thing to show, at least that I know of, Lawrence is going to have a lot more to show on his video, of course, so uh, there'll be a link at the end on one of the cards. Have a look at that, because he's going to tell you what he did with all the, um, you know, the, the quests for magic and things. I've still no idea what's going on with magic. But in the screech, well, I basically did a quest, <laughs> and then I did it again. And that was the entire session, because these quests take forever. But we have solved a certain problem, which is um, thermoelectric generators, power, basically. These are producing 64 rift per tick, according to whoever put that sign there. And I've covered these with glass, and uh, I clicked on them until they changed colour, just to give it a bit of decoration. Now, the thermoelectric generator produces RF, or any form of energy, actually, I believe. Doesn't tell you. Uh, based on being opposed by different temperatures of stuff so it's going to have a internally in the mod itself there's going to be a list of things and how hot they are um, and it's going to find the difference between those and ramp up production depending on that so i put lava down and this is packed ice i think packed ice is immune to heat or at least immune to some heat if you put a torch on normal ice the heat of the torch will turn that ice into water because of minecraft physics in fact i think that just light level is equated with heat but that might be wrong or old or both anyway um so you can see each of these has one lava on one side and one ice opposite each lava which produces some heat differential there are hotter things and colder things that we can put here but for now this is producing 64 rifts per tick uh, and apparently something is draining it because these are not full. You can see how they've got 10.8 crifts in them. Apparently, presumably, they can be... Well, they've all got 10.8 crifts in them. Let's go over here. That might be the maximum in the display. No, the maximum is 40. So for some reason, something somewhere is 
sucking up the rest, draining all the power. Uh, you're off, which means you're not taking anything. You've got 10 point power, well you're just a storage battery. So something somewhere is using a Falar Crufts, but that's okay, because that's what they're for. Is it you? You seem to be a drone. No, you're off. As it should be. Yeah, that's it on. Um, so, obviously, something is taking power and I don't know what it is, but Tristan did say thanks for all the extra power because he turned something on and it was useful. So, uh, well done us, something happened. <laughs> That's still working, brilliant. Uh, nothing else to really say. We killed the Ender Dragon the second time, so, oh, I do have, look at this, uh, extended inventory. So I press R for this, and what it's done is, there's two two versions of this display, and I'm not gonna show you the other one because I didn't like it, but it's, this is the extended inventory. So we spent two Enderium coins from killing the Ender Dragon twice on, um, eek. <laughs> uh, well, I did, on an extended inventory, which is just literally a second inventory, um, which you get to by pressing R. And you can swap all your stuff out by pressing this. Presumably, you have to have, you can't just take all your armor off, apparently. You can't swap everything with everything. Um, but if you were to have another set of armor in here, they would not be on you, but you would be carrying them in your second inventory, and then this would, oh, there you go. It did work, maybe I just didn't see it, I don't know. Uh, this would do, you know, that. And you can swap an individual row of the entire hotbar. So if you want to build this on your hotbar, well, one click, dead easy. That was expensive, but that's another four inventory rows where normally you only have three. So that's more than an entire, well, if you include your hotbar, that is literally an entire second inventory to carry stuff in. Plus the fact that I've got all these bags and stuff. Oh, there's something in my mining backpack. What did I pick up? Tungsten. Oh, I picked up that ages ago. So all your ores, I found a, or was given a hunting backpack, which picks up things dropped by mobs. So that's even more inventory for when we go out doing something. Uh, give me that back. <laughs> what do we do with tungsten ore? That's interesting, because it's, um, it's ender colored. Normally when you pick up an ore, it wasn't me. <laughs> Normally when you pick up an ore, it reverts to the default style. Um, maybe we need to fix that. Because of the, all the different types of ores in different um, underground biomes, underground biomes puts different types of rocks in the place and puts ores in all those rocks. But if you pick one up, it just becomes the stone version of the ore. So you don't have a thousand different tungsten ores just from digging in different rocks. But this seems to have done that. So well, one of these should be tungsten, right? How do you know? <laughs> It doesn't tell you what it would be if it were in it. I think that might be tungsten. No. Anyway, we have a thing to fix. So I suppose we'll get onto that uh, when someone can advise. Oh, it's here, look, we can't process these ores yet. Yeah, okay, fair enough. We can't do anything with tungsten, so it's not connected to anything. Live and learn. This hasn't changed much. That hasn't changed much. Uh, I guess we'll see what we do this evening, but thanks for watching. I hope you will join us, and remember to click around here somewhere around about now to go and see Lawrence's video, which might have some more information in it. Uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you.